All right, so this video is going to be on how to create a symmetric key, uh, AES secret key. So first thing you're going to want to do um, is we're going to make like a utility class uh, for this. So we'll call it crypto utils. All right, and then let's make a function here. Uh, we'll call it generate. Uh, secret key so secret key symmetric key um, AES key they're all kind of the same thing um, uh, symmetric cryptography is the more broad um, uh, let's see uh, symmetric or AES key is a specific type of symmetric key uh, secret key is kind of like synonymous with symmetric key and uh, AES is a specific type so we're going to do an AES-256 um, key here. So first thing uh, we're going to want to do is we're going to get a we're going to want to get an instance of the key store. So uh, we'll call it, do KS equals key store dot get instance. And we're going to pass it um, uh, to the Android key store. All right, and then we'll do uh, apply and we'll call load we're just going to pass null okay uh, don't worry this is this load parameters is sometimes you, you want to have parameters to load your key store and protect it further um, but uh, you can look into that later all right so now we want to uh, make uh, a key generator we want, we want to get an instance of a key generator so we'll call this key gen so equal to key generator get an instance and we're going to do AES okay um, now we need to uh, initialize it and we're going to do it with size 256 the key size all right now let's get a secret key from that it's going to be of type secret key and we set it equal to get that key gen and then generate key all right so there we go we have our secret key now we want to put this in the key store so we need a key store entry for this so val We'll call it entry, set it equal to key store uh, dot secret key entry. All right, we're going to pass it that secret key. So now we have this entry object. We need to put it in the key store. Um, I'll do the, the last step first, and then I'll go and do, I'll show you the, the earlier step. So we have the key, key store. We're going to set entry. All right, now let's look at what it needs. Um, uh, okay, so here you go. Alias. This is the alias to look up the key. Um, that's your key material, the byte array and certificate chain. So um, uh, there's other parameters here. Let's see, char. Okay, so um, when we're generating the key, we'll, we'll want to pass that in. So I'll give it alias string. So that is how we're going to look up the key later. That's going to be the alias. Alias of the key. Right? Next, um, we need, uh, we're going to pass it the entry. Right? And what else is there? Certificate. So, uh, certificate array. So, we'll, we'll pass in uh, protection parameters, right? So, let's, we're going to make that protection parameter. Set it equal to key protection builder. And we'll just, we'll pass in right there. Uh, what doesn't it like? 
entry. Oh, let's see. Let's just set entry, not set key entry. There we go. Set entry. What is that? The entry and the protection parameter. That's what I was looking for. This is the one. Alias, the entry and the protection parameters. So why does it not like this? Oh, because I haven't filled it out. I have to call build on this. Okay, so now let's build out the protection parameters. So uh, first thing you want to pass uh, are the purposes. So key properties dot purpose. We want to encrypt or decrypt, right? That's the first one. All right, next one, we want to set how long it's valid for. So set key val validity start. All right, so let's, um, you need to specify how long a key is valid for uh, when it starts and when it is expired. Usually your company will have guidelines on this. Um, so let's get an instance of uh, calendar. I'll say that's when it starts. It starts working right now because that's what get instance returns. And then end will be uh, make another instance for end and then we'll add to the end uh, we'll say calendar dot year so how many, usually it's like two years, three years. I don't know, I've worked at different places that have different, depends on their security, but two years for symmetric keys is generally uh, the limit. Some are three if it's really strict and sensitive place. So let's just be two. Okay, so we're gonna pass those in. So pass the start in, start dot time. It takes a date object, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, and then we'll do set key validity end and we'll do end dot time okay so now we set how long the key is valid for next you want to set two things the block modes and the, the paddings so set block modes you're going to want to do um, this is also dependent on you know where you work but CVC uh, chain block ciphering and Set the paddings, encryption paddings. So key properties. Uh, let's do padding PKCS7. So uh, these two are important. If you're going to go this far to protect your data, it makes no sense to stop or to continue without these. Uh, the chain block ciphering uh, it, with cryptography, AES, it doesn't just encrypt the whole thing at once, it encrypts it in blocks uh, based off the key size, 256. And this padding um, is basically, it adds uh, to the first block, or it adds to the block some nonce. Um, but I'm not going to get too far in the weeds on those. It is worth um, understanding and looking up what is block, what are block modes and what is padding. Uh, but uh, like I said, it does not make any sense to go this far without adding block modes and padding. So... Um, there you go. This is how you uh, generate a secret key and put it in your key store as a key store entry. And in the next video, I'll show you how to look up this key, encrypt and decrypt uh, some plain text with it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.